Hey guys, how you doing? Um, another vlog today. Uh, been a while since I did my last one, but uh, this one is a bit of a different one. So, you may notice I'm not in my studio. Uh, I'm speaking a bit quieter because I'm in a hotel room in Perth just now. So it's Friday the 1st of October just now, and tomorrow night my band Post Veronic State are playing a gig in Muckies in Perth. And we're supporting a band that we're good friends with called Tidres, and uh, we haven't played with them since 2019, but really excited to play with those guys, really enjoy the music. And uh, so I came up early because we've got our rehearsal in Dundee tonight, I think it's at 8 till 10. Yeah, so my plan is just to document how everything goes, you know, rehearsals, I've got one tonight, I've got one tomorrow, and then just show what it's like to gig. You know, I've, I've not played a gig in 19 months, and I'm really, really nervous but excited about it, so it should be good. I'm not sure how busy it's going to be, but uh, and then I'll be doing a gig next Wednesday at Nice and Sleazy's in Glasgow supporting a band called Talk Show. Really, really excited about that one. It's, um, it's going to be great. It's going to be so good. Apparently it's almost sold out. Could change, hopefully it does sort of sell out. And um, yeah, just got a couple of gigs in the space of a week compared to having 19 months out of it, so yeah, it'll be great, it'll be really good. Um, really excited to see how it goes, just excited to see how my playing does, you know. I've spent a long time practicing and changing how I play, you know. Um, I started lockdown not really knowing the right way to play, you know, I thought I was doing it right, but then as soon as I started working with Kaz, everything changed, you know, it was a case of breaking myself down, breaking my kit down, um, only having kick, snare, hi-hats, and uh, changing my sticks, changing the way I play, everything changed, and um, aye, we'll see, we'll see how it goes, um, a bit nervous, a lot, sort of, a lot of expectation from myself personally, just to see, you know, how I play live, you know, if play the same as I used to do, hopefully not, you know, so plan right now is just to go out, go get food and uh, then catch up the guys later on, rehearse and then see how it goes, you know, so hopefully, hopefully it all goes to plan. <laughs> Okay, so it's Saturday now, and um, didn't get a lot of filming done yesterday, again. Um, I'm getting really bad at that, I think I just keep forgetting, but uh, essentially what we did was met up with the guys in Dundee, did a rehearsal, I think we just went through the set twice, and yeah, we just sort of messed about with ideas, you know, little little details in songs you don't usually think about, but when you do them, they actually make quite a good impact, so just things like we breaks and stuff, so that was good, that was about 10, or 10 o'clock we finished. We drove back, cut about time for a wee bit with Doig, and then had a bit of a problem with the parking, so I had to wake up really early this morning to fix that, and uh, it is currently half ten in the morning, so, so we've got our rehearsal at twelve, that's twelve till two. After that, I think we're just going to get food and do the loading. Yeah, so I'll see how much you get filmed. Right now I'm just trying to learn how to use stuff, so I'll show you. So the new camera I'm using is a Sony A6000, the microphone, from what I've seen, is pretty decent if I'm just talking, but, you know, recording drums, the microphone's going to be pretty poor, I think, so trying to learn how to use one of these, and this is basically 
a very glorified microphone. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, essentially, it means that instead of recording on my phone or something, where the sound quality might be good, but the, like, the actual camera quality is poor. And then on this, good camera, but bad quality of sound. I can use the good quality on that and they record the sound on this, so if I have learned how to do it right, sound goes in there obviously and then you can mix it on this and then bounce it down into a SD card and sync it on my laptop, so yeah, I think it makes sense, so essentially you've got, you've got like four channels, it record once and that shows the metering mode, so it shows you've got the first and second channels on, and that's essentially here, and then the third and fourth channels, that's your Jack or XLR there and uh, I make it sound like I know what I'm talking about but I'm just copying what I found on a YouTube video this morning so hopefully if it all works then it will sound pretty cool but um, yeah, knowing me it's not gonna work so yeah plan is film more because I'm not filming enough it's just I get kind of nervous when I'm filming in front of people but it's, I kind of need to get used to it don't I? I might do a full rundown of the gear I'm using so it'll be like symbols and snares and stuff like that so yeah hopefully I can get out of this room though because I hate speaking to a camera in a low voice. Probably start filming again when we get to the studio for a rehearsal we're doing it at Echo Lab in Perth. Oh yeah and never I didn't say yesterday but a bit of a background to Perth. Um, we use a band formed here because we all lived here at some point in the past couple of years for uni. Um, I moved up here in 20 2021 now, so I moved up here in 2016. Uh, that sounds like ages ago. I was 17, about to turn 18, came up to do a music course in Perth College and uh, yeah, stayed for four years. So, my second last year at uni, I joined Post Ironic State. I met the singer Jay and the synth player Jojo a couple of times. I met them, they were the first people I met in uni. We played this venue we're playing tonight a few times, it's called Muckies, and uh, it was the first venue we played as a band, so yeah, it just makes sense to go back there after lockdown, it's the first time, so hopefully it's, hopefully it's going to go well, you know, hopefully we don't forget the songs and stuff. Uh, yeah, I can just see I'm going to try and throw in some sort of fill and then think, you know, that just, that just doesn't work and then I'll get confused and I'll mess it up. All good, but um, yeah, let's see how it goes, so I'll get cracking with that and yeah, I'll see what happens. Just had a shower and a quick nap because I'm a old man. Did the rehearsal, went fine, really good place. Um, check out Echolab in Perth, really good place. And uh, yeah, it won't be disappointed going there. So loading time is about 10 minutes from now, so gonna get boosted in the car, go and meet the guys at the venue and should be good. So, but uh, let's go and do the first gig I've done in 19 months. So let's go.
and it's the next day. Did the gig last night and yeah, first thing I noticed was just my plane. Before lockdown, before I started lessons with Kaz, uh, my plane was very rigid, it was very stiff, so whenever I was playing gigs I wanted to be louder so it would be hitting harder and my hands would hurt all the time. You know, every song my hands just, tendons here and same with my other hand, they would just be really stretched and strained and I'd come off stage, you know, hands stiff to the point I couldn't really shut my fingers over. Then after changing the way I played completely to last night, I didn't get any pain at all. It was just a sort of bit of proof to show, you know, you have changed and, you know, everything that I've been learning with Kaz has been for the better, you know, it's for benefits and, you know, I was not doing intricate things but, um, Whenever I was wanting to do more detailed fills, I was doing it with control. I still need to bring my ghost notes down. That's, that's just something that's going to take years for me because I'm just, yeah, it's taking a while. But um, overall, overall, the game was great. It wasn't, it wasn't packed, but it was a nice sort of way to break back into gigs and a nice sort of warm up for when we play a talk show this week. So playing wise, we did. Everyone did great. I don't think anyone had any major faults you know it was really really positive Any, everyone who was everyone who came to see us was really up for it we even got an encore so finished the songs and went backstage and then we heard people clapping in the way that we thought that could be an encore and the sound guy Ewan ran up to us and said you're you're doing one so I had to come back and do another one that was great it was just it was perfect there were some times during the set where I thought to myself you know 19 months you've been wanting to do this and yeah it was a very a very sentimental kind of night and then uh, when Tide Race came on they played my favourite song that they've written called Papillon and by the way check out Tide Race they're just crazy good they're so nice really 
accommodating, really funny, and the musicianship is next next level. They're just so detailed, and they played a new song they've only I think they only played it once the night before, ever, and they nailed it. It was it was great. They're they're so nice, and uh, playing with them again in Dumfries in about two weeks. So that's that's gonna be packed apparently. So I'd be excited for that. But uh, yeah, next next plan is um, check out and go home, back into the studio and uh, get practicing again. And uh, I think I'll need to take a lot more gear with me for the Glasgow show in a few, in a few days. And uh, yeah, just. Up until then, just practice, practice hard. There's a, there's a few things I need to work on, but uh, a couple of days practice should be fine for it. So I'm, I'm so tired. <laughs> That's what I'm about though. But uh, yeah, I've got a few things to work on. I've got um, the microphone thing worked, so thankfully. But I don't know if this camera filmed the whole thing. I'll need to go home and check. But uh, it definitely filmed at least the first song, which is fine. So yeah, if it, if it didn't record the full thing, I need to go into the camera and understand why and then hopefully get that fixed for the next gig. Plan is go home, practice, gig on Wednesday, going away to the Isle of Arran on Saturday this week, uh, going with some good, good pals of mine, miss them so much so we need to see them. Staying there for a week doing hill walking and stuff like that and then the day after we get back it's done threes so it's going to be a bit of a hectic one. Hopefully we'll get more gigs booked and see how it goes but officially now gigs are back and hopefully this vlog is a bit better you know shows a bit of what's going on and uh yeah stay tuned for round two when we play torch from glass in a few days so i may include that in just one big vlog if it's two parts it's a two part so uh yeah see how it goes but thanks guys for checking it out and i'll see you in the next one okay so back in the studio now and i just decided to sell my gear again just have a bit of a bash about and Decided to bring out this old one. Uh, this is a 22 inch Zildjian K custom dark ride. And I absolutely love this thing, but uh, right here, so yeah, you can see right there, just a big crack. And it still sounds great, but it just sounds, you know, when you hit it, you can't really hear it to be honest, but uh, when you hit it, you can hear these two bits of metal sort of rubbing against each other and makes it sound a bit trashier, which is nice, but uh, you know, it's not exactly what I'm looking for right now, so might need to get that changed over. And uh, yeah, so I was just deciding to mess about a bit, practice some of the songs and uh, see how that went, but uh, my arm has decided to get a wee bit of a pain. So I don't know what it is, but in my left arm, just sort of the upper part of the forearm, it's uh, whenever I play my snare, it gets quite numb and sore. It could have been from the gig, I might have just played a bit too hard or it might just be a case of when I was doing load in or load out, I twisted it in a weird way. So it is Monday, I think. Is it Monday? Uh, yeah, it's Monday right now. So gigs on Wednesday. So I think it's a case of either just play cross stick, so reducing the amount of strain I put in my arm or just not play at all, um, which will be pretty crap, but you know, I need to look out for myself. So I've got injuries and just don't stress yourself. So. See how it goes. I might, I might just rest it for today and then try again tomorrow. If not, then I'll just wait till the gig, which isn't great, but you know, I need to rest it, so we'll see how it goes. But plan now is just to sort of mess about with a snare tuning a bit to make sure it sounds better, uh, mess about with that microphone recorder again, and uh, and just sort of make everything work for the video. And yeah, that should be about it.